Good morning children, it's lovely to be back with you again today. Now, last week uh, the lovely Anne did the parable of the lost coin with you, do you remember? And this week we're going to be doing another parable. But I wonder if any of you know how to play the game opposites. I say a word and you need to think of an appropriate opposite. So I might say day and you might say night, so that's the opposite. I might say fat, and you might say thin. I might say tall, and you might say small. I might say high, and you might say low. I might say hot, and you might say cold. And I might say wise, and you might say foolish. I wonder if you can think of any more opposites. So opposites can be like the choices we make in life. If we choose to paint a door bright yellow, it will look very different from one that is painted dark blue. So the story that I'm about to read to you is another parable. And I wonder if you can remember what a parable is. Well, it's a story that Jesus told which has a special meaning. And the story that we're going to be listening to today, or the parable that we're going to be learning from today, is called The Wise Man and the Foolish Man. And it can be found in the Bible, in the book of Luke, um, that's in the New Testament, in the second book of the Bible, uh, Luke chapter 6, verses 47 to 49. So here goes with the story. Once there were two men, each decided to build himself a new house. They both looked around for a place to build. The first man was in a hurry. He wanted to have his new house straight away. So he started to build right where he was standing, on a flat, sandy surface, or sandy place. In no time at all, his new house was finished. He looked out of the door and said, well, that didn't take very long to build. I'm going to be very happy living here. But the second man was troubled. He looked at the rolling clouds in the sky. He knew that the rains were coming soon and he climbed up a steep hill away from the flat, sandy soil. He decided to build his new house on a high, rocky place. His house took a very long time to build. Every day he watched the clouds grow darker. Then one day, he put away all his tools and went indoors. <gasps> well, that took a long time to build. I'm going to be very happy living here. The neighbours admired both of the new houses. Then they looked up at the thunderclouds. Oh, how wise you are, they said to the second man. Then they ran for shelter. So there we have our parable for today. The wise man who built his house on the rock and the foolish man who built his house on the sand. And if you remember from the story, when the, when the rain and the, and the thunder and the floods came, the wise man's house stayed strong, but the foolish man's house went flat. Now when I was a child there was a song that we used to sing and uh, it was called The Wise Man um, and the Foolish Man and uh, it goes something like this. There are actions as well so you have to be building okay so here we go. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down And the rain came down and the floods came up And the rain came down and the floods came up And the rain came down and the floods came up But the wise man's house stood firm 
The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand, and the rain came tumbling down. Oh, the rain came down and the floods came up, and the rain came down and the floods came up, and the rain came down and the floods came up, and the foolish man's house went splat. And that's the end of our song. Now, as you can see, I, ra I sang about the wise man building his house upon the rock and he chose carefully he was a man who was wise enough to make good choices and the second verse that i sang was all about the foolish man what happened to his house he made a bad choice didn't he he built his house on the sand and when the storms came his house did indeed go splat now today's bible story is a parable which means that the story as i said earlier has a special meaning jesus himself compared himself to a rock he explained that people who believe and trust in god are making a wise choice like the wise man in the story let's reflect on making choices we can choose to be kind or unkind to ourselves, our friends, our brothers and our sisters and those who care for us. We can choose to do our schoolwork or not. We can choose to be respectful and helpful to our family and friends and teachers or we can choose not to be respectful and helpful. Now, wise choices usually lead to good or positive outcomes and foolish choices can lead to bad and often unhappy choices or unhappy outcomes. Sometimes we don't know what is the wisest thing to do. That's when we need to stop and think, talk to other people and to ask God for help just what the foolish builder should have done. Let's pray. Father God, help us to make wise choices when we are working in our classes, when we are playing with our friends and when we are living in our homes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, for today's craft, I thought it might be fun to have an edible craft. And all you will need is uh, a plate. You will need um, a flapjack square. You can get those in Morrison's. I'm actually going to be using two for this one. Um, you will also need a strawberry. I've just cut off the end, obviously. And then you will need two digestive biscuits. Now I did also say about having a cocktail stick as well as part of the craft but you don't need a cocktail stick after all. Oh and you also need some custard as well. So this is a really fun edible craft which can help you remember the, the parable of the wise and foolish builder. So what you're going to do you're going to get your plate and you're going to place your flapjack on top of it and this is going to represent or remind us of the rock of uh, the wise man building his house on the rock and then i'm going to put this strawberry on top of the rocks um, because the wise man did indeed build his house on the rock so that's that represents his house and then i'm to represent the foolish man's house i'm going to use this digestive biscuit as the flat um, sandy space and then i'm going to use the other digestive biscuits and i'm just going to break it up so that we get the impression of it being unstable ground okay because it's all a bit flaky and it's not going to withstand anything so that's just been put on the side of my biscuit there we go so there we have oh <laughs> my strawberry the house fell off the rock for a moment but it's all right it's gone back on again so it's all fine so there we go so there's my um 
uh, house on the rock with this with the strawberry and then I've got the flat space here in the front here and this is the the broken bits of of the sandy space now if you remember in our story and in the song the the rains came didn't they and the floods came up so I thought <laughs> to represent the floods we could pour custard around it okay so it really does look like the flood so I'm just going to pour the custard round <laughs> this looks delicious actually <laughs> so there we go so there we have the floods that have gone round the uh both of the houses represented here and this is a really fun edible craft um it does taste actually very very nice so a lovely reminder of the parable of the wise and foolish builder um demonstrated here with some flapjacks, a strawberry, some custard, and a couple of digestive biscuits. Um, but yeah, enjoy making this craft, and I would love to see any pictures that you may have uh, once you've completed this lovely edible craft. Okay, well, it's been great being back with you again today, and I really look forward to being back with you again really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.